Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to save process data to the file on the comfort panel. Let's get started. Here I have a screen with some objects, that contain process values. It is a standard for process control. Let's have a look at the tags table. Here I have tags for process data. Here I have a name for standard. All those tags are assigned to corresponding object on the screen. Now you need to create a visual basic script for storing standards into the file. At the top you can see that I do start error routine. It is a good practice for catching errors. Next step is to create variables, that will be needed for our script. FO is going to be our file object. FSO is going to be our file system object. Duiminous is going to contain data that needs to be written to the file. I, is integer for the loop. Delim, will contain delimiter so we can create a delimited text. TXT field is a text field on the screen for data output. It enables to see us the data we do try to write to the file. Tag name, this variable simplifies the loop through the process tags. Path, the path of the file will be stored here. Now let's assign text field that is on the screen to our variable. Our data string starts with the name of the standard, so I do write it in first place and adding delimiter. Before storing standard name, I do check if it is not empty. If so, then error message will be entered into text field. On the error I do release the memory and exit the sub. Next goes for loop to add the process values to the data string. As you remember, my tag names are value 1, value 2, and so on. So here I do assign name value to the variable tag name and add an index to it. Again, error catching and freeing memory. We do not need to add delimiter for the last value, so here I do check for highest index. If it is lower than last one, then I do assign semicolon otherwise, empty. If you need to have delimiter after each of value, then you are free to remove this check. Then I do add the value to the data string. Catching error again. When the loop ends, I do store the data to the text field, just to check if everything is ok. And catching error again. It is time to check this part of our script. So far it seems that our data collection works perfectly. Now it is time to write a second part of the script, which will ensure data store into the file. First we need to create file object and file system object. And trace for any errors. After creation of file system object, we can use methods. Before opening file for write, we need to check if it exists. To achieve that a method dir can be used. This method returns a string representing the name of a file, directory, or folder that matches a specified pattern or file attribute, or the volume label of a drive. If dir method returns empty string, it means that file does not exists. Now, that we have a file, we need to open it for write. 
parameters for this method are path name, mode, access, lock, reclang. Last three are optional. By opening file I do use parameters path name and mode. You can see all the modes here. Catching errors again. Method, line print, writes a single line. That is the way I do write the limited string, that contains standards name and the values of the process tags. File needs to be closed after writing is finished. For that, method close is used. And in the end, memory needs to be released. Let's test it on the PCRT. It will not work as expected, but it is a good way to demonstrate, how the error catching works. As you can see, data preparation looks ok, but I have an error at the position, where I do try to create a file system object. Let's switch back to the script. The error occurs at this position. It is because to create a file system object on the PCRT, a different syntax needs to be used. We need to load the project to the panel. I have connected to my panel using smart server. You can find a link to the video, that explains how it works, in the description. Let's try to create one standard. A message shows up, that file does not exist. As you remember I did that check in the script. And if the path is not found, then it is created automatically. Let's create another standard. This time message about missing file did not show up, as file is already exists. Let's create another standard. We have three standards, it is time to check the file. This is the file, that we have created. It should contain three standards. Let's open it to see what's inside. As you can see there are three standards, as expected. Write to the file was successful. Thank you for watching and happy coding.